Hello, it's Dr. Lorenzo, Longevity Health Institute. Hope this finds you well this evening. Uh, kind of late evening for me on a Monday here at the office, uh, wrapping it up, just doing some paperwork and that, closing up uh, some things. But I wanted to share this with you because I saw a follow-up patient and had a big discussion with a 51-year-old uh, male here today. And what I'm about to tell you is gonna really, really help you help others, including maybe yourself, but share this with friends and family. Uh, share this with your loved ones, especially men, especially men over 50, because there's two things and there's many other things that can be reduced, um, big risks, cancer and cardiac disease with what I'm gonna tell you. But I wanna share with you a little study here. Uh, here at Longevity Health Institute, just as a simple review, we're always looking at personalized approaches, functional medicine, root causes to fix you and to put you on the trajectory of optimal health. That's our goal, that's our initiative, that's our purpose, okay, and our passion. So make you well. And yes, we're often attempted to be uh, replicated, never duplicated, and we're admired by many places, and we have patients all over the country and are kind of actually just recently um, even uh, hired to do some uh, consulting for a health um, department. But long story short is, why? is because we look at you the way you should medically be looked at always, personalized medicine. So let me share this with you. So a study I wanted to share with you that was actually published in December of 2020 in the British Medical Journal. Um, it was a prospective cohort study of 40,000. This is not a small study. 40,000 men, average age 53, and this was about red meat consumption and cardiovascular disease. Now, why am I bringing this up now? Well, I had a patient that again was 51 here. We had this big long discussion about diet, um, meat consumption, particularly red meat consumption, and then his risk. And I'll, then I'll put this together for you, but I wanna share this study with you because it's really significant. So this was republished in New England Journal of Medicine um, and it actually, the original article um, actually was published in the British Medical Journal 2020, December 2020. And it looked at red meat and cardiovascular risk, and it was highly associated to a increased risk with the more red meat you consumed with coronary heart disease, okay? So again, this was 40,000 men. Again, you can take that as it was, just men. And, but they were followed, excuse me, followed for 36 years, okay? So when they published this, um, it, it actually it's had a lot of data and a lot of patients and a lot of years. And it showed that there was a significant reduction in cardiac events and coronary heart disease, the less red, red meat they consumed. Now, what's the best diet that gets personalized? I'll never solve that discussion here tonight. Won't even try, okay? Plant-based whole food diet is gonna be your best. The Mediterranean diet's got the most science based on it. A Blue Zones diet, you could probably follow that and read about that in some of my other videos. But what's interesting about this is that this is why I personally believed and lived this way personally, to have very little to almost no in the last 25 years of my life, red meat consumption. And the reason is because there's a significant risk in coronary heart disease with red meat consumption. And there's also a significant risk in GI cancer, colon, gastric cancer, esophageal cancer, et cetera. So in this study, you know, again, backs this up. The gentleman I saw today, the 51 year old, we do a cancer screening test here in the office because what are your big things that we're gonna always be, you know, solving your goals when you come in, but then we're also gonna be looking at, okay, here is, the um, on the spectrum of life that we're trying to prevent. Poor immunity, poor bone health, poor cardiovascular health, okay, and events, and cancer. So if we can push those off in the spectrum of, you know, kind of, hey, you know, way down the lineage in our life, in, in 90 or 100, et cetera, okay, then we are living well and we are thriving, okay? So when we do this test in the office, it checks 36 genes. This gentleman then actually came in, one of the genes that came up in him um, because he had a history of colon polyps, 
And I'll talk about that. So if you have a history at all of colon polyps or somebody you know and they get fouled, you need colonoscopies every three to five years. Not skipping them because colon cancer risk goes up with polyps, and especially the more polyps you have. Well, this person actually had a genetic SNP that we found in him. Again, why do we do this test? Because he had colon polyps. He actually showed he is positive for a check two gene that is associated with an increase in about in him about 10 percent in his lifetime of colon cancer and to a lesser degree because men can get this but in a check two gene breast cancer um, but it's much less about a three percent lifetime risk um, breast cancer does happen in men but he has polyps he has this check two gene and we had then this big discussion on red meat okay Ironically, he also at 51 years old does have a little bit of calcified plaque in his coronary arteries. Very small, we're working on that. But he has some risks there, okay, for cardiac disease and for cancer. And he has this genetic check two gene, okay? The best diet for him is gonna be no red meat, period. Not once in a while, not once a month, not whatever, because a personalized approach with him is going to be more of a whole food, plant-based diet, okay, Mediterranean diet, maybe some fish, maybe some eggs here and there, okay, but a lot of greens, a lot of fiber, a lot of real food, okay, not processed, but no red meat because there's a large association to, to, to uh, uh, GI cancer, colon cancer, and just like this study showed, coronary heart disease. So... If you want to eat healthy and avoid these things, and these things are very common with aging, and just like the study showed here of coronary heart disease in men, avoid red meat. Um, and at least, you know, have very, very little in your year or I say quarterly or whatever, but know your risks and know what to avoid based on a personalized medical approach like we do here at Longevity Health Institute. So hopefully that enlightens you. Please share this with others. Subscribe to my channel because I'm always coming out with new things that are studied, just like in the New England Journal of Medicine and the British Medical Journal, but also that is functionality, personalized, and root cause medicine uh, to bring you the best and to make sure that you and your family and loved ones thrive, not just survive. So later this week, I'm going to have a talk here about COVID and about the PCR test and about gut health and COVID. So I'll leave you hanging. This is Dr. Lorenz, Longevity Health Institute, Rochester Hills, Michigan, Madison Heights, Michigan. Me and my providers will always be here passionately uh, serving you to bring you the best in, in regenerative, functional, personalized medicine. Be well.